Hi there, in this video we're going to be going over a brief introduction to Concourse and how it implements CI-CD best practices. If you're just getting started with Concourse or you want to evaluate it a little deeper, this video is a great place to start. Concourse CI is most commonly thought of as a CI tool, and it's really great at those continuous integration workloads, but Concourse can really help you deliver any changes to your modern application stack. For example, for CI workloads, Concourse can automate the build, test, and delivery of your applications and services to the Pivotal platform but it can also function as a perpetual upgrade machine for the entire Pivotal platform. With platform automation, a set of predefined concourse pipelines are used which integrate with the Pivotal network and your infrastructure provider of choice to not only automate the install of the Pivotal platform, but also automatically install security patches, operating system updates, and stem cell upgrades for day two management. Let's start with a brief overview of concourse, its UI, and major components. This is the pipeline dashboard view in Concourse, and it is the front page of the Concourse web UI. As you can see, just with a glance, it gives you a real-time view into the health and status of all your code moving through all your pipelines. And should you need to drill down to get more information to, or to troubleshoot an error in one of your pipelines, you can click in and get a more detailed view of a specific pipeline, and drill down to find errors that allow you to target actions if there is an issue. So how do you get an operational, repeatable pipeline for your team? Let's take a look at that next. Concourse pipelines are based off of three simple primitives, resources, jobs, and tasks. First, let's look at tasks. Tasks are the smallest decomposable unit of a concourse pipeline, and they're really the individual steps within the pipeline, such as a code build or a single test script. Tests also allow users to define where to run their tests. And in the case of our example, you can specify here what container type to run it on. Containers can be from a private container repo, a public one like the Docker public repo, or built from a manifest like a Docker file. This is one of the really nice things about Concourse. Its container-first strategy in executing tasks helps you get your jobs done quicker and in the environment that you define. Now, let's take a look at jobs. Jobs are the large green boxes shown here. They represent the plan to execute one or more tasks within a pipeline, which again are the individual steps our pipeline will execute. Here we see how the jobs are made up of individual tasks, but jobs need some context to do their work. Concourse uses the concept of resources to model these external inputs and outputs from the pipeline and give context to a job. Resources are external integrations, which jobs use to move your pipeline forward. Here we see an app resource, which is built on the git resource abstraction. Notice that in this case, the resource is an abstraction of a git project and each change to the resource is a result of a bump version job. Let's see how this is defined. Here we see our resource in code. This is a git resource type, which is holding a reference to a specific GitHub project, in this case, the repo holding this pipeline. There are many types of resources that come built into Concourse. Resources can be things like source code repositories, Slack channels, ticketing tools, or any other repositories of external state. But the important thing to notice is that their specific definitions are simple abstractions built on top of these primitives and defined completely in code. For example, for a git resource abstraction like this one, we could have defined it to pull from another specific repository in another git compliant location like GitLab or Bitbucket. If a resource is not available on Concourse, there are many available from the open source community or they are pretty straightforward to build your own. Resources are also the primitives used for triggering pipelines to run. In a job, we define a resource to use, and then we can decide to trigger that job using that resource, such as we've done here. Having resources, as well as jobs and tasks, built as code rather than configured in a GUI or with plugins means that pipelines can be easily managed in a source code repository, like the one we have here. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching this overview of Concourse CI. Here, we gave you a brief overview of Concourse and teased some of the use cases beyond continuous integration. We looked at the web UI and showed how to drill down to find errors in your pipeline. And finally, we talked about the three primitive types in a concourse pipeline, tasks, jobs, and resources. Thank you for joining. See you next time.